just doing this video to help out anyone in the same situation. I bought a new interior for the car and uh, the back seat belt in the middle have been cut out by, I'm guessing, a fire brigade after an accident. So this one's locked in and I, I was trying to figure out how to take it out. Now what I did, assuming it'd be screwed in at the back, I've ripped all this off and yeah, nothing there. It's obviously seat belts there and solid. However, what I have found out is you can take this cloth off really easily. So what I did, screwdriver, put it in there. So I'll do this because it's not been done. Screwdriver in there, pop it out like that. And it's just as easy as that. It's just got this little rubber like that. And it's just tucked in like that. And that's it, literally. <laughs> now, taking all this off was literally as easy as, as once you've took all this beading off all the way around, just put it off, piece by piece. This piece, I was a bit brutal with this one, so again, screwdriver up there where I've done that, <laughs> up there and pop it off. You can be a bit more gentle, but this is an old one, I okay. So I've pulled that off. And as you can see, there's a little wire and it's hooked in right there. So if I can get my hand in, to unhook it. There we go. And now this piece can come out as well. Okay, so once you've got all that off and there is a couple of hooks, obviously you've got the one at the top which I've shown you and there's another one like there, there and so on to get this wire off, but then get it down a decent amount. The foam isn't held in, so pull that piece out there. That piece out there. That one you can just hook over, but to be fair, you probably don't need to remove this much foam. Just enough to get to the seatbelt piece there. <sighs> right. So once you've got your cloth completely off and your foam, which I've just completely took off, <sighs> it's only held on by these little pieces here. I'll try and get a different one. Oh. So basically these ones, which I, you know, I'll cut a piece off actually. Yeah, so basically these pieces slot through those holes. They come out the back through here and they're secured on by these plastic clips that just slide through the side. That's what holds this foam to the back. So when you're taking it off, if you want to take the whole foam off, you slide these out. And where are they? So I think they start here, there's four and then some at the bottom as well. Anyway, so seat belt, the only thing holding it in, believe it or not, is that bolt there from what I can see. So I'll take that bolt out and see how I'll get on. Okay, so it is 17 mil to take that out. So obviously it's quite tight, quite tight when you first do it, but it's not too difficult. Oh, the only thing I'd have to hand to be fair was a breaker bar. Right, now there seems to be a cable runs around here. I'm guessing it's just for this piece here. Let me work that out. Now, to be honest, I've got no idea what that's actually for. So, it's connected onto this white piece here that moves back and forth. I've just obviously popped it out, but it was just in there and inside that piece there. I can't really tell what that white piece does because it doesn't operate either of these. I'm guessing it's some kind of a safety thing where it, when it pulls it locks the belt, I don't know. <sighs> but the belt should be pretty much free now. But now I need to work out how to take it out because a big bar in the way. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just uh, <laughs> trying to work out exactly how it works to be honest. So I've had to take this side cover off to be able to unlock it, so all it is is this little 
plastic piece there it sticks this piece sticks there. It's, it, as you pull this brown cog gets stuck on that so if I give it a tug as you see it gets stuck there it won't move so if you take the side cover off and move it back slightly it'll probably not work now oh. it's because of the angle that it's not working properly but but you get the gist anyway so that part fine it looks like this plastic piece was put on the belt before this piece so it looks like they've threaded this through without the metal piece on it so they've threaded it through this plastic piece and then put this metal piece on then put that on so you can't actually pull the belt through so it looks like to be fair this isn't really an interchangeable part if it fucks you're fucked you have to replace the seat um technically one way of, i'm gonna do it right now because i don't really want to like, buy another seat because i just bought the m sport kit so i don't want to buy another m sport fucking seat because it's not going to be cheap i'm just going to snap off this piece um i'm gonna have to loosen it again one sec there we go so what i'm going to do is if I snap it off there, just that little corner, I can then slide it off the belt, um, and it should be okay. Yeah, so once you've snapped that part off, it's obviously, it was like that, so you snap that piece off, you can then slide it off the belt, and then, it's going to be hard to do with one hand, put the belt through this hole. Oh. Yeah, so put the belt through the hole, like that and you can then eventually sorry I slide it off there you go without breaking it too much so yeah that piece of broke but it doesn't really matter you're only going to see it from the top and that looks fine so that's good so that piece is done now because there's a steel bar you can't take the belt out from underneath because it's all welded together. Thanks BMW. Now will it slot through there? Is the question. So you pull it through and watch it. it's not gonna go in. Oh, I lied, there you go. Yeah, so because it's angled, you can have to twist it round after you've done that. And that's done. So I've now got the belt out and the unit out without damaging it. Touch wood. Now the cable oh, is a little bit stuck. Um, perfect. Thank you, BMW, again. So, this frame is held down by loads of little clips that I've smacked, those I've took off. So, you've got these little clips that sit on there. Now, they're really easy, to be fair, to get off. Just pop a screwdriver behind it and pop. And then the frame does lift up. I can't really do it with one hand, but as you can see, it does lift up. So, I'm going to just get that wire out. Okay, so some good news as such. So of course it sits like that with the cable going underneath the A-frame back up and hooking up in there and you gotta mess around. Which means if you're gonna do this yourself, you're gonna to have to do what I did and take the whole seat out. Bit of a nightmare. Um but what I've just realised is you can actually just take this piece out. So 
this comes with the cover on you literally pop it off really easy focus all right so this piece lifts up easily this piece has got a little little tab there i'm going to break it but you just obviously pull it back a little bit and then if you get a screwdriver first so you get a screwdriver underneath it twist and then it pops off so it's just this piece it sits in there this white piece in there and that's it now operating it <laughs> all it does uh, is moves back so that's all it does which obviously moves this catch back and forth which is what locks up this disc so, so if i move that back it, it locks up the disc there pull it out of the way and it lets the disc move and that's obviously what locks up the seat belt so say i've taken out the whole seat just swap out the piece leave the existing one in and just use this one And that's it. So it's now out. Sorry, it's such a long video. Audio is probably shit. And some of the angles are a bit crap as well. So apologies again. Any questions, ask. The difficult, I think the most difficult part is, well, firstly, I didn't know what I was doing. So I probably broke a lot of pieces I didn't need to break. The frame can stay as it is. It doesn't really need to be moved. Um, as I say, the wire that goes underneath the frame can also stay in place. Majority of the foam and seat can stay in place. All you really need to do is take off the piece that runs along the top here, including the foam, so that can be folded back to about there, just so you can get to the bolts. Um, the armrest obviously you open up. This I snapped, um, but I dare say you probably could lift it a little bit without breaking it. Um, I've only broke it down there I don't know if you can see the crack just at the end that's because I lifted it up too much but I dare say as I say let's have a quick look do I sit on those tools ah yes so I guarantee if you unscrewed it you probably wouldn't need to break it let's see if I can unscrew it okay yeah so this screw goes through there, or there, whichever one it was, I think it was there, and into there. Take it out, and actually, the whole fucking armrest does come out. <laughs> so, there's no screw on the other side, it's just, just two pins. Pin to the top, and I think another one through the bottom. Anyway, this whole armrest comes out, and then, guess what? So does this just lifts up completely now? Oh. Yeah. oh yeah, there you go. Just slide through that hole. So this whole piece actually comes out nice and easily. <sighs> Wouldn't you know how? But there you go. So once you've got the armrest out, it means you probably take all this off really easily. You could leave that side in because it's quite fiddly with all the pieces. But you could fold this piece off to about there, easily get to the, the bolts, take the uh, seat belt out. And then once you've tucked, yeah, once you've tucked this plastic piece out of the seat belt, the rest of it should just slot through. And then it's fairly easy, so I'm going to give it a go in the next couple of days on my... Uh, on my own sport one and hopefully be a bit more gentle than I was with this one this is just going to the scrap so I don't really care just like the rest of that interior over there <laughs>